The pending demise of the city's grand old dom of elevated travel today stirred a nostalgic chord in the hearts and minds of some who rode this Orange Line route for the very last time. I'm usually on the red line, but this is the last day I wanted to give it a chance. Well, it's been kind of nice to, to, to ride the train again that I grew up riding into town, seeing the sights from the, from the, from the L. As this train made its way into Dudley Station, and then past the Holy Cross Cathedral and on towards downtown Boston, other riders said the prospects of riding aboard the 100 T buses that will serve as Orange Line substitutes tomorrow and over the weekend as a worry. It's going to be confusing, you know, because I usually ride this train a lot. Buses will start their run shortly after 5 tomorrow morning from the Forest Hill Station. They'll move down Washington Street, making pickups at all of the regular Orange Line stops, also a couple of new stops at Downtown Crossing and Haymarket Station. All pedestrian traffic will be restricted to sidewalks here in Downtown Crossing, expedite the flow of bus traffic. The officials are cautiously optimistic about their planning for the Orange Line switchover. There will be approximately 100 uh, traffic control officers, Boston City Police, MBTA police out directing traffic and trying to keep things moving as, as well as possible. Mayor Flynn feels for the plan to operate successfully, commuter cooperation is an absolute necessity. The Boston Police Department encourages and the Transportation Department of the City of Boston encourages all commuters who can avoid traveling this route in private vehicles to please do so. So shortly after midnight, the Orange Line will be silenced, having completed 86 years of service. I'm Walt Sanders, TV4 Eyewitness News. The elevated Orange Line is going down, and a Boston tradition makes its final stop. We'll have that story next on the Evening Edition. This is Eyewitness News, the Evening Edition. Good evening. Here's what's happening tonight. The Orange Crush is on. After 86 years of service, the elevated Orange Line is at the end of its line. That means the tens of thousands of commuters began this morning with a change in their routine after the old L took its last ride. The elevated Orange Line rumbled down the tracks for the last time around 12.30 last night. And people were packed on board like it was a rush hour. Commuters seem to forget the times they may have maligned the old L, and last night made it the toast of the town. <laughs> the old elevated tracks are being replaced by a new high-speed depressed line. Now that won't be ready until early Monday, just hours before service is set to begin. New track and power lines are still being laid, connecting the old orange line with the new. Crews will be working throughout the weekend to get it all ready. We will be moving the old tracks over to the new tracks on the Southwest Corridor. The second phase involves the power work that is connecting, reconnecting electrical power cables to the new car, and the third phase is the signaling system. Well, the morning actually went relatively well. Eyewitness News reporter Shelby Scott tells us this morning's switchover from the old line to temporary bus service went actually better than planned. As you can see from these Sky I-4 pictures, the morning commute along the Orange Line went very smoothly. The shuttle buses that ran from the Arbor Way downtown ran into very few problems. Orange shuttle buses floating up front. Roll the Orange Coast to the front, please. And passengers used to a train ride seemed to be coping pretty well, too. There were plenty of tea officials on hand to make sure people buses. understood where to go. Orange line, orange line. However, not everyone knew exactly how to get where they were going. Very good. Excellent. Very good service. They were very good. Now I want to find out how I get home. I didn't like it. I don't like what they're doing to the city of Boston, period. I thought it was very well organized. We were all amazed. It was a very comfortable ride. They had to be congratulated. Yes, they are. Very well run. The horrendous traffic jams that some had predicted just did not happen probably because of all the police. They were stationed at practically every intersection to make sure the cars and buses kept moving. There were some hang-ups near Herald and Marginal Streets, but police did the job they were supposed to and got the traffic flowing again. Shelby Scott, TV4 Eyewitness News.